Do I have people here from Arkansas? <laughs> I can talk slower. <laughs> They're dumb as a bowl of dirt in Arkansas. <laughs> I was in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I saw a bumper sticker. It said, if you can read this, you're not from here. <laughs> I was in Little Rock, Arkansas last year for the Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah. I'm part Jewish. I asked a guy there, I said, hey, do you have Rosh Hashanah here? He said, no, we have Nickelodeon ESPN. <laughs> I was like, I like that joke. I do it every show. <laughs> I don't care. I know nine of you will laugh. The rest of you are looking at me like a Jew boy from Louisiana. <laughs> I have a yarmulke with a John Deere patch on it. <laughs> Flip it over. It's Hunter's Orange. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making that up. That's actually true. I'm part Jewish. I'm part Indian. And I was raised Catholic. <laughs> I just stood at the altar with a full headdress going, How much are these wafers? <laughs> 10% of my salary. <laughs> Just give me one and call me a run -em -up. <laughs> I was just in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I found this out. You know, if you go through a drive through fast food restaurant without a car, hey, they get pissed off. <laughs> True story. My hotel was right next to a Burger King. I stumbled over there about midnight, a little inebriated. I got up to the window and uh, I knocked on the window for the uh, little box thing. A little girl inside said, Welcome to Burger King. May I take your order? And I said, Yep, I would like a Whopper with cheese, a small fry, and the Coke. She said, Are you in a car? Can you see me? She said, No, but I don't hear your engine. girl wouldn't serve me. I had to hitchhike in the drive-thru. Oh, hey, dude. Can you take me to that first window right there? You wouldn't do it. I had to get a taxi. Cost me $83 for a walk. I want to tell you guys a couple things before I get out of here. You're going to have a wonderful time here on the Elation. Uh, it's my favorite ship to work out of the 23 that Carnival has. Uh, please visit my friends like Stu told you about Michael in the piano bar. Uh, if you want to hang out with me, I'll be in the uh, be a Romeo and Juliet with the Pure Band. Uh, uh, I consider one of the best bands uh, in the Carnival fleet. They're a lot of fun to hang out with. Matter of fact, if you see me in there, come up to me, man. Just buy me a drink. Uh, <laughs> I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I can't see with the balcony. I don't know how full we are, but I'll buy everybody in here a drink. How about that? Include the kids. You got one? Alright, uh, I'm going to get y'all one, but I've got to pass it around take a little bit of sip. <laughs> Some jokes I just do for myself. <laughs> you know you're doing well when the guitar, guitar guy tuning his guitar. <laughs> Didn't mean to wake you. <laughs> So uh, I want to remind you about that. Also tomorrow night, uh, we're back in the Cole Porter Lounge. Cole Porter Lounge, I believe, right? It's Cole Porter. On the promenade deck number nine, I have two, count them, two R-rated adults on the uh, comedy show, 18 and older. Here's what I'll say about those two shows. They're 18 and over. If you're under the age of 18, that show is not for you. If you're 18 and over and you're easily offended, that show is not for you. <laughs> Although I do not consider it rude and crude, uh, there is language situation and windows. Keep that in mind. Also, at the end of this cruise, they'll put a little envelope in your room. Do you know what that's for, sir? Tips. I did not know that. First time I was ever on a cruise, they left me a little envelope. I wrote the guy a letter. <laughs> Thanks for making my towel look like a little piggy. <laughs> you never know what you're going to come to when you come home to your cabin, man. They always got cool animals in there. I need a life size. <laughs> They're wonderful people. You're going to have fun with them. You're going to have fun. They're wonderful people. 57 countries represented on this ship, and I love every one of them, man. Uh, you'll love your steward a little bit persistent. <laughs> I found that out my first trip. So I work at night, folks. I just got up like two hours ago. I'll stay up. I sleep all day. I get up when the sun's warm at right? 2 o'clock, right? My first day on the ship, this is my steward. All morning, this is my steward. Just 